Hey YouTube, um, AJ Monte here, aka Andrew, and today I'm bringing you my second um, weekly tech tutorial. Uh, it's not quite been a week, but I just thought of this one and thought it'd be quite good to upload because it'll be really useful to you guys. So, this one is entitled How to Speed Up Your PC. Um, it's mainly directed at Windows 7 and Windows Vista users, but most of the stuff you can apply to XP as well. So, let's get started. Um, if you haven't followed my first tutorial, I suggest you do, because it will allow you to remove viruses and well, malware and junk from your computer um, on a scheduled basis. So like say you get a virus and you don't know about it until it starts mucking up the computer. If you run malware by on a schedule, it'll find it before it starts causing havoc. So the best programs that I suggest to remove uh, program, uh, viruses and stuff First one is Malwarebytes, it was mentioned in my last video. In order to download, you just click free download, so you click that page, um, and then click download now, nice and simple. Next one is CC Cleaner, that's for removing junk and cleaning and stuff, it's quite good. Um, the third one is Antivirus, which is Avira. Um, I only really suggest Avira for if you've actually got a virus um, and you want to remove it. Um, it's not good for every day. Uh, every day virus um, prediction would be AVG, which is featured, which you can find quite easy if you just type in AVG, nice and simple. Um, and the final program is Super Anti Spyware. That's for removing spyware and um, things that are trying to get access to information and stuff. So yeah, um, that's the first step of speeding up your computer. So we'll minimize this. Um, the next step is speeding up your boot up and shutdown times. So if you're like me, use a solid state drive, booting up should be quite quick already, but to speed it up even more, say you've got loads of services running and loads of stuff running on startup, you want to speed it up. So we want to, we want to speed that up by going uh, on a Windows 7, click the start menu, and you can either click on run, go to all programs, accessories, and click run here, or even simpler, just type in MS config, okay? You then click here, and you'll be hit with the window like this. You then want to go all the way along to startup tab, and I've already, I've already pre configured everything I want, but basically, you you untick the stuff you want to boot, don't want to boot up on startup. So, that for, for example, I could be like Skype. Um, Spotify, Microsoft Office, Communicator, Facebook up there, stuff like that. Okay, um, and anything else, you, uh, any any problems or stuff like that, give me a shout because I'm happy to help. Um, also, um, to speed up speed up uh, your computer, you want to from MS Config, you want to um, go along to the Tools and launch UAC settings. Launch this. Um, for most of you, it'll be set up here on the third notch, you want to bring it right down to never notify. That means that when, you, um, when you're when you doing something, uh, you want to like install something, sometimes you get the splash screen that says, are you sure you want to do this? And you click yes, and the desktop's all blacked out. That will just completely skip that stage uh, altogether, which is great. Um, what else can we do? Well, we'll close that, okay? So that's you change your startup and your, your startup. In order to do shutdown stuff, we wanted to go into the registry. Um, a quick disclaimer, I'm not um, liable for any damage you do to your computer following my tutorials. They're purely for education purposes um, and for you to try yourself. I don't take any responsibility for any damage, uh, any virus removal or anything that happens to your computer. Um, before we proceed, make, make sure that you follow this very carefully. Uh, when you're in the registry because you don't want to change any values that are not listed because you could, in theory, start your computer from booting up and potentially muck up your computer. So with that said, you want to go to your start menu. In the wee search box, you want to type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T. -E um, so reg edit, and you want to open it up. Now I'm already open at the bit I need to be at. But for you guys, you'll be hit with this. You'll have classes root, current user, local machine, users, and current config. What you want to do is you want to go to local machine, double click that, you then want to go to system, and then you want to go to control set, and then control. From there you'll be hit with all these keys. The one that we're going to change is wait to kill, wait to kill service timeout. We're going to double click on that, and it brings up this window here. 
um, by default we set to 12,000, which is 12 seconds. Um, I usually hit mine at 2,000. Uh, that's two seconds for everything to shut down. Click OK and then close it with that. And that's your shutdown time sped up by 10 whole seconds, which is quite a long time if you think, well, quite a short amount of time if you think about it in terms of like a minute, it's ages. But for a shutting down a PC, two seconds is actually quite quick. Now that's not actually how long it takes to shut down the actual machine, that's how long it takes to kind of kill all the processes and stuff. So say you're doing like Word documents, you've got loads of stuff open, you just save that and it'll, it'll close them within two seconds. So next, um, if you've got a sidebar like with gadgets and stuff, I don't because I like my PC to be fast, but if you've got a sidebar, you want to right click on it and then you want to you want to right click on it and you just uh, select don't like open on startup and that's nice and simple. The uh, next one is our power plan. So if you're using a laptop, um, I don't really, unless you're using it like with the cable, with the power plugged in, I don't really recommend you do this stage because it will kill your battery life like nobody's business. But if you're using a desktop like me, it won't really bother you. You want to open up your control panel. So sorry that guys, um, I'll do that again. Open up control panel, so you go to control panel. Um, scroll right down until you find power options. Select power options. And you'll be hit with this screen. Um, some of you will be hit with uh, balance. I use mine in high performance, and that's the best one to do. So you hit high performance, uh, go to change plan settings, and then go to change advanced power settings. You'll then have this window that pops up. Um, you want to go down to hard disk, and you it will be set at 20 minutes or something. You want to type in, so say, do you, we just want to type in capital N E V R, never. Okay, and then that means that your hard drive never shuts down, so it's always on, it's nice and fast. You want to apply that, click OK, cancel out of this, close this. So the next thing um, I'm going to talk about is red, uh, more registered tweaks, but there's it's more, more registered keys that you'll be using. So I've already, uh, if I can find it, there's this, uh, there's a wee zip file I've made up and I'll make it available in the description. But all you do is you basically open it up, open up the register key, so close that down, and you'll be hit with a message like this, and you just hit yes, and I've already got it applied, so it won't work for me, but it'll work for you guys, okay, close out of that. Um, the next the next and final one I'm going to do is show you, some of you might not know this, some of you might, is uh, disabling system sounds. Now, some of you like, oh, why do I want to disable system sounds? It's not going to make any difference to my computer. Uh, we'd be surprised, it shaves off um, like 15-20% of your processing power because of all the sounds that are used um, on Windows 7 and Vista. Um, in, order, in order to fix this, what we do is we go to the run command, click run here, and then you want to type in mmsys.cpl, okay, then you hit OK. This will bring up your sound settings. You want to go along to the sounds tab, and then under sound scheme, click the drop down box and select no sounds. You then want to click apply and OK. And that's, that basically disables all your system sounds. Um, I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial. Please um, subscribe up the, yeah, up the top, so it's up there. Um, and comment down below. Add me on Skype, add me on Twitter, Tumblr, whatever you want. And follow my next video. Also, other news, I have been recognised as a YouTube partner and I know I've been talking about this for ages that I want to get a YouTube partnership not solely for the kind of money aspect, I mean the money aspect would be nice but for the branding, I haven't actually got the branding yet but I'll be getting it within the next two weeks and via, via that or from that um, I now can upload videos um, that are longer than a certain length and I can also change them up with. Now to some of you they're like, oh that's nothing. Um, 15 minutes, that's a, a long video, but sometimes 15 minutes for a tutorial and my set video, which will be my next video, and I know I've been talking about it for the past four or five videos, that'll be my next video, my setup video, um, and I'll upload that later on, or either maybe Sunday uh, of this week, or next week at some point. So yeah, hope you enjoy this video, uh, if you have any questions at all, add me on Skype, or just leave a comment below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. Um, thanks guys, um, enjoy. I hope this speeds up your computer and your computer's a lot faster. If, if you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial, please click the like button below. 
and it, it means a lot to me. Thanks, guys. Goodbye.